Smash 4, it's got a lot of characters, it's got a lot of unique, creative characters, but learning these characters can be somewhat daunting. I'm pressing the same button and he's doing different shit. Luckily, you have someone like me who only plays one character religiously, so I think I'm qualified to teach you how to use the entire cast. Alright, step one. So you're gonna go on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account and you're in the Smash community, I... What are you doing? But anyways, you're going to take the name of the character you want to pick up, and then you're gonna type in lame after that. And if too many people are tweeting about how the character's lame, you don't pick the character up. It's that simple. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, step two. So once you've found a character you want to learn, go into training mode, and before you even get a feel or understanding of the character, check to see if they have a down throw combo. If they don't have a down throw combo, don't pick them up. It's that simple. See? This character can't combo out of his throw. He's fucking worthless. Step three is character juggling. No, not like up air juggling. It's kind of like, should I pick up a low tier character like Ganondorf, take the time to learn him, when I can continue to develop my Jigglypuff? Step four. This one is really obvious, but go on YouTube and look up some character guides. It's that simple. Welcome to my advanced cloud guide. If you clicked on this video, you're in for a treat. Now, the first thing you need to know when learning cloud is up airs. And that's actually it. Now you may be thinking, wait, just up air? But up airs is actually a clever acronym, standing for you press A in rapid succession. Okay, subscribe for more. And last but not least, step five is... Actually, I, I don't know. Charizard has a down throw combo, so I kind of just stopped after that. I guess I'm not qualified to teach you guys how to learn characters. Huh.